<sighs> Hello everyone, this is Video Game Growing Pains. We're taking a short break from Final Fantasy uh, history. We're going to get back to that. I just wanted to make a short rant here because um, I'm a little late to the game on the 3DS, you might say. I only recently got one because I was going to China. And I recently got a chance to start up playing uh, Bravely Default, which is so Final Fantasy it kind of blows my mind. And here's the thing. Square does not make Final Fantasy games anymore. Ever since the Final Fantasy X and possibly X-2, they have not been making Final Fantasy. They've been making freaking MMOs, and they've been making games that play themselves that are, like, aping MMOs. We will get to those, believe me. And then along comes this little game, Bravely Default, which is basically Final Fantasy V with a few new tweaks thrown in, voice acting, a slightly different story, and the same balls-hard difficulty of the original Final Fantasies. And my question, dear Square Enix, is what the hell have you been doing for the last ten years? Why didn't this game exist in, like, 2006 or seven? I mean, yeah, you've been making re-releases of Final Fantasies, you've been making pseudo-sequels like Final Fantasy IV The After Years, but what the, what the hell is wrong with you? Why didn't you make this game, like, five to ten years ago? I mean, you proved that you can still kind of do it. Okay, Silicon Studios handled a lot of this, so maybe they're the ones to blame for this amazing title. But, what the hell, guys? I mean, Bravely Default. Graphics are, at times, wonky, but most of the time is pretty good. The combat system is excellent. Even the music is very good. Not quite Uematsu good, but still very good. And you've got an interesting story system and an interesting uh, battle system. It even throws in some decent... Uh, 3DS multiplayer conventions. And yes, it also throws in friggin' microtransactions. Thank you very much, Squares Up. I am looking forward to ripping Final Fantasy all the bravest. A new one, believe me. But, just why did it take so damn long? Why did it take so damn long for you to release a good Final Fantasy? We, we've, had, we've had crap like 12 and 13. I won't say 11 was bad, because... It was trying to do something different, but we've had 12, the game with a good story, but terrible combat and terrible delivery. We've had 13, the game that plays itself and where even when I'm defending it, it's freaking awful. And you made four Final Fantasy 13 games. Oh, and the kicker, you didn't want to bring Bravely Default out to the West because you thought it wouldn't sell well. You thought the game that was so Final Fantasy that it would have had, like, old-school fans squeeing wouldn't sell well. The hell is wrong with you? I mean, for God's sake, do you know how Final Fantasy 1 started? Square said, you know what, this is a good game, it was good in Japan, we're going to release it to the West, and we're going we're gonna to try and convince the West that Final Fantasy and JRPGs are the way to go. And you kept doing that. That's why we had Final Fantasy friggin' Mystic Force. You were trying to convince us that this was good. And then... After doing that, after convincing us with Final Fantasies 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 that the JRPG was good, that it was mainstream, you took it away from us. You gave us these crappy knockoff action RPGs like Final Fantasy 13 and Final Fantasy 12. What the friggin' hell? Why did you? Why are you so afraid of bringing the traditional JRPG back? I mean, for the love of God, is Bravely Default perfect? No, but it certainly has its freaking promise. I mean, the story is so far not terrible. The characters are interesting. And the combat system is freaking phenomenal. It's turn-based, but it gives you the option of actually spending four turns at once so long as you're willing to wait to make those turns back up. That is kind of brilliant. That's kind of genius because it forces you to think strategically. And yeah, there's microtransactions for people who can't actually be bothered to play the game, but that aside... The game is still pretty damn good. And why, why couldn't you have made this, like, years ago? You've been constantly re-releasing Final Fantasies 4, 5, and 6 on iOS, 1, 2, and 3 on PSP and DS. You've had sequels and, you know, Ultimate Collections made. And you couldn't be bothered to make a new one when you clearly freaking either have the talent or can outsource the talent to make a new one? What the friggin' hell? I would buy Bravely Default if it Bravely Default 2 if it comes out of the states, but my, my faith in SquareSoft is pretty much below zero right now because 
even if they can still make a decent Final Fantasy, which I'm not convinced they can, by the way, they they don't want to bring it to the people who would like it. I mean, for the love of God, what the hell? And yes, I've tried to avoid using the more colorful language because, though I curse a lot in private, I don't want to really do that on my videos. Anyway, so that's my problem. I will be talking about Bravely Default, The Last Story, and Lost Odyssey at the end of my history of Final Fantasies, because Final Fantasy ain't frickin' Final Fantasy anymore. Other games have risen to take the mantle away from the king. Other games have proven that they can be just as good, if not better, than Final Fantasy. So I'll be talking about Bravely Default, Last Story, and Lost Odyssey then. Ugh. Until then, uh, next time we're going to go back to the history of Final Fantasy, so... Yeah. What the hell, Square Enix? What the freaking hell?